Indian River Campground has everything I need. It has latrines, a nearby water source, and bear-proof storage for food and garbage. Sure, it's a little crowded, but I won't be doing much of my campsite anyway. There's far too much to see in Yellowstone. Since I'm not going far and the max speed isn't too fast, I'd figured I'd take a risk and wear only my GoPro on my head to see how the shots along the way look. As it turns out, they're pretty high quality. I typically never ride without a helmet, but after being cooped up in the damn thing for three days, I needed to feel the wind through my hair. Today I'm headed toward the Mammoth Hot Springs, the closest attraction to my site. It's pretty much all I'll be doing today besides cooking myself some dinner. Question, why does Yellowstone have so many unique features like hot springs and geysers? The answer to that is that Yellowstone lies on what's called a hot spot. The upper mantle pushes up against the Earth's crust here, creating a thin boundary between the surface and the hot, melted interior of the planet. Let's just say that if you brought a shovel and just started digging around Yellowstone, you could be in for a world of hurt. All the main attractions in Yellowstone are here because the boundaries between our world and the bellowing volcanic interior of the Earth become pretty thin here. The Mammoth Hot Springs are one of those attractions. All of this was made by water being superheated and pushed out of the Earth in a formation known as a spring. The water that's coming out of the ground originally comes from local rainwater and snowpack that percolate into the groundwater supply. The reason Mammoth Hot Springs looks the way it does is because water ended up being pushed to the surface through a ton of limestone. The limestone is carried to the surface by the hot spring water and deposited. The new limestone forms a material called travertine. Travertine is a common substance around the globe and can be used as a building material for tiles and bricks. The springs will unexpectedly change flow at any time. There is seismic activity in Yellowstone. Sometimes small tremors and earthquakes will change the direction of the spring flow. When that happens, many trees caught in the path struggle to survive the slow, poisonous mineral dump. 